Oh, I'm smoking. Oh, no. Oh, I'm smoking. Um, <laughs> I'm not asking, you know, Paul might die. I hope Paul survives this slow mowing experience. It'll be a shame if this engine blows up and kills him. I'm not worried about grass clippings. Oh! Paul died. Did the rapture happen? What happened? Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? Today I'm gonna be checking out Lawn Mowing Simulator. As you can tell by that man in the middle, I'm here to mow. Oh, I'm here to mow. I uh, fell into a pit that was nothing but Lawn Mowing Simulator this past weekend. Uh, Plan on playing Guilty Gear Strive for a video today. Did not work out. I just played this. I listened to some podcasts. Shut my brain off, lost my whole weekend to this game. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive video will hopefully be out Thursday. Um, but hey, we're here. This game has been on Game Pass for maybe a year. So hey, if you haven't played it, maybe play it soon. It might get removed. I don't know. Let's, let's, uh, let's see. Which one should we do? Let's do Paul Eats the Grass. No, hold on. Yeah, I made two companies. One... It's called Paul Eats the Grass. That's Paul. Um, he eats the grass. Uh, in Lawn Eaters Maximus, this is the real team. It's the real, real dream team here. Uh, I've already got him. Let's confirm that contract. So I got him sent out. That's basically so I can send out my employee to do a job, or I can do this myself. But I'm sending him out. Well, let's see. The divine, the Davies Garden. Can I do this one? No. What about this one? Campsite, campsite. I don't want to do a full campsite. Yeah. Well, okay, we'll do Paul Eats the Grass. Paul will eat the grass, everyone. Yep, Paul. That's what I'm mowing on. That's it. Show my loadout. Let's go. Oh, uh, this game's alright. <laughs> um, I have some issues with it. Overall, it, you know, gives me enough serotonin, dopamine, whatever you want to say. Oh, listen, we gotta do a ground check. We gotta do a ground check. Ground check! Um, ground check is just basically at the start before you mow a yard. Uh, you can go and grab stuff out of the yard for extra money. If you don't do it, you don't get punished, but you won't get those points, too. Let's see. They kind of hide some of this stuff. I'll say what initially put me off on this game was the visuals. You know, I expected this game to look better, and I was like, well, it's not an Xbox Series X version. It's not like a next-gen specific version but I do understand why this game you know you can see the anti-aliasing not great I don't even know if it's at 1080 I I don't know but every single blade of grass is basically individual there so yeah I can kind of understand our point but also the draw distance giant bummer okay let's go Whoa. this game takes place in Europe uh, as you can tell maybe Britain not exactly sure you can tell because they put use and favorite and they, uh, it's euros, that type of stuff. All right, let's go. So, it's still tutorializing me at the bottom, but that helps out a lot usually. So you can kind of keep those on. Let's go here. You can check your cut height range, seven to eight centimeters. Let's go down. Okay, that'll be good enough. And we'll get to mowing. Uh, I'll say this specific mower sends out uh, grass clippings. The one I started off this game with, which isn't an ego mower, is uh, one that collects all the grass clippings and you unload it on like those trash cans around your truck. But with these grass clippings, it shoots it out, so what you kind of want to do is aim them towards the middle and then as you go along, you'll hopefully won't have to collect that much grass. I have not been collecting all the grass that pops out. Uh, yeah, I'm really not. It's not been worth it <laughs> in my eyes. Once uh, this kind of gets whittled down some, I'll show you what the grass clippings look like and how much they really litter the environment by the end of this. But this is uh, Lawn Mowing Simulator. This is what I've been doing all weekend. I, I, I am enjoying it. Uh, there's definitely a lot of elements to it compared to games like Power Washing Simulator, Hard Space Shipbreaker. I, I, I said Hard Space Shipbreaker. <laughs> Out of nowhere, it might seem like. But that is uh, what I'd call a menial job simulator like these. That might, that's the best one though. If you haven't played Hard Space Shipwreck or play that game, the game's incredible. But this has a lot of elements that are just like rough around the edges. This definitely seems more focused on the simulator aspect in a way. Obviously, 
power wash simulator. You're power washing a Mayan pyramid to save the world at the end of the game. Not a joke. Um, hard space ship breaker. You are breaking apart ships, but obviously that's not happening in real life. So this is definitely the most realistic. But who knows? Maybe I'll save the world by the end of this game too. Maybe Paul will save the world and eat the grass. So like mowing, uh, you can easily overload your engine. Usually these earlier mowers, it happens a lot more. That'll happen if you just, uh, you can kind of see there how much I didn't cut there. That'll happen whenever just, uh, there's too much to cut at once. Like just the actual blade isn't great. And some of that's determined by the actual, um, status of the blade. So you can see in the bottom left I got blade condition, engine condition, all that, but most of the time you just can't overload these. I've got a mower that shoots out grass clippings. It's like an eco mower on my main career mode currently, and that is A, quicker, and also I don't have to worry about overloading the engine that much. This is it. This is it. Uh, I guess I can talk about what's going on this week. Um, this week, I was, like I said earlier, I was hoping to have a Guilty Your Strive video out today, but I uh, started playing this, and then I couldn't stop for a while there. <laughs> um, I was just listening to podcasts, watching movies, just lost a whole day almost to this game. It was, uh, it was rough. Um, but uh, Guilty Your Strive, I will hopefully have a video of Thursday. I really want to do a video of that game, because the just for the soundtrack alone. Like, it looks incredible. I'm sure it plays great. I am not great at fighting games only fighting games I've really, really, truly delved into is like Mortal Kombat, and that's kind of my series in regards to fighting games. I like Street Fighter also, but it's the skill cap on that game is pretty high too. Um, but Guilty Gear Strive, I need to get further. I need to do more of the mission mode, the tutorials and stuff like that. And like play some online, kind of get to a point where I can kind of talk to it pretty well. And then just the, then we'll talk about the dumb butt rock, sound, butt rock soundtrack. Oh, it's just game had one. I mean, I could be listening to my own music, I guess. That's what I've basically been doing, anyways. But I, I would like if this game was like, hey, you, uh, you know, grew up mowing your yard <laughs> in the early 2000s uh, to uh, 2010s. Um, why don't you listen to some Seether while doing this? Why don't you listen to some uh, Nickelback? Yeah. I don't think I listen to any Nickelback while mowing yards. It was mainly Seether. Soundgarden, I remember. What I'm confused about is some... I don't know if it's got a weed dictionary. <laughs> What's the word for it? I know what weeds look like, but there's a lot of times where these flowers of these places, I'll be like, okay, that's a weed, and I'll run it over, and it'll be like, hey, that was a flower. Or, hold on. I'll find a weed, and it'll, and I'll run it over, thinking I need to, and then it'll say, oh, that was a flower, find a curd. Find a curd, whatever. I don't know, it's obviously not a huge find. There's not really a lot to worry about here. I'll say this is like the... Compared to the other types of games that this kind of genre fits into, you're kind of doing the least moment-to-momentness. Like, you're basically just following a line. While Power Washing Simulator, you're A, worried about where you're at currently and spraying whatever structure, too. So you're aiming at both of them. Like, I need to get out of the way. This has some aspects where it's like, hey, you don't want to overload your engine, but you kind of get past those pretty quickly as soon as you start to buy uh, different mowers. That usually doesn't take that long. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah, Guilty Gear Strive video this Thursday or another video. Um, I'm hoping to have uh, some videos on some games that I've been playing uh, currently, like Sons of the Forest. I had some friends give me that. So I would, what I'll probably do is you'll expect to see a video that soon of me just kind of playing the first hour or two of that game, and I'll edit down to maybe 30 minutes or hopefully less. I don't know. Depending on, I don't know how that game's going to go. I don't know. I love how horror-focused that game is, but I also know nothing about it, so the survival aspects might very well be a big barrier to get over. Oh, what is my engine? My engine's making noise. It's the first time. I guess I should repair it. Did I hit something? It's weird. Yeah, when we turn back around, I'll... Uh... Oh, I've been overloading the engine. That's probably why. Uh, let's keep moving. Yeah, I got Sons of the Forest. Uh, what I'm really excited for is Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's coming up this Friday. And you'll definitely be seeing something on the channel about it. I am hoping to maybe do a review on it. Because I reviewed Resident Evil Village. And I want to review another game. I've been meaning to, but I've just been real busy lately. That would be one that would be pretty easy to review. Just because I know I'm going to 
dive head first in that game. I love the demo. Resident Evil 4, I was thinking about it, it might be my favorite Resident Evil. Like, I love Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, I've never finished Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil. I'm going to do that for the channel at some point. But, uh, yeah, Resident Evil 4 Remake is this Friday. One of my favorite games of all time. One of the greatest games of all time, I'll say. And it's a full-on remake, and I cannot wait. It seems like they did a great job with it based off the demo. So, uh, cannot wait for that. So expect to see some content of that. I'm, not, I'm sure I'm going to be Twitch streaming some of it, but I don't know exactly how much. I don't know if I'm going to be streaming all day Friday, or I'm going to be just streaming the night that Friday night. I don't know. That's when most people would be watching. So we'll see. I would say keep an eye update, uh, keep an eye on the channel for any updates. I'll post on the channel when I go live, and also keep an eye on my Twitch. Also, go follow it there at twitchtv slash milk 24 so Yeah, I got almost 40% of the way through in about 10 minutes. I'll say each. Uh, ooh, each lawn emo so far has taken between or taken about 20 to 40 minutes. It's not too much of an investment, but it's definitely sometimes it's like more than a power wash simulator. One thing that sucks, so there's some aspects of this game I really do not like. Comparatively to like mainly power wash simulator. That's kinda what I'm lumping this into. I know there's other games that definitely fit in this genre, but I'm just gonna pair those two because I know Power Rush Simulator is like my biggest frame of reference, I would say, at this point. But with Power Rush Simulator, there's some such smart things that it does. So, here you'll probably start to see as I get to the end here. Well, I'm only 50% of the way through, but you can kind of see. There we go. You see that small little. Look at this small little line of grass. That counts. So, that type of stuff counts. And it's, and honestly, this is a little bit easy to see. But all this stuff counts to the point where you'll get to like 99% and you can technically leave your job but you'll get like a penalty or you can get it to 100% but you're already at 99 so you might as well get to 100 right well you won't be able to find what grass you even need to cut you'll the whole yard will be cut you'll use your weed eater on everything it just won't change anything and that was always always a bummer in this. I know they might not give you that much of a penalty but just knowing you got to 99% not 100 and you can't get there because the game isn't making clear to you what you need to mow sucks power washing simulator you press a button and it shows you all the dirt in the level still and also a big complaint too is power washing simulator some of those areas take a long time it take hours to clean completely but you can leave at any point and it'll save your progress this is not the case if you leave in the middle of a if you exit in the middle of a mission it'll in or mission if you exit while in the middle of mowing along it won't save the progress it'll just end that contract you'll get whatever progress you made you know back in money like you'll get paid for whatever you did but you'll lose that progress if the game quits out anything like that you'll lose that progress and that's just the bummer to me there are some aspects of this game that are definitely unique to this that you'd see more of like probably out of a farming simulator i think this might even be from the same i think from the same publisher at least okay let's see so let's uh change cutting blades minus 50 pounds okay can i repair the engine Ooh. i don't know if i can <laughs> oh um okay yeah so let's just uh make sure i don't hurt the engine anymore i guess i can only do that in between missions all right so in this case, I might have to tell the person, the old lady living here, like, yeah, sorry, uh, mower here crapped out, bird flew into it. And that's what Paul sounds like. Paul eats the grass, and he sounds like that. Oh, multiple camera angles? I've not shown those yet. This is my, maybe my personal favorite? Yeah, it turns you into a ghost, but it makes uh, seeing some of these individual grass strands easier to see. Yeah, there's just some stuff about this game that I, I'm surprised is not in here, but also it's understandable in a way. I do like that there's some elements of this to where if you have mowed you know, your own lawn or anything, you uh, can take those skills to this game. Like, there's just certain aspects of mowing lawns. Not to brag, you know, knowing this stuff. 
There, I haven't seen it to where like weather conditions affect it. Like say if you're mowing after rain or anything, that'll make the grass wetter and harder to cut. I don't know. It's anything like that. I've definitely seen the weather change, but not like it's never rain. Um, it's got some of that, and also when it comes to which this is an aspect I feel like the game could be better at. When you're using a lawnmower and you're like on a hill or something like that, you can basically tell when the blade starts hitting the ground almost instantly. You can kind of tell that pull, anything, to where you can stop it. In this, it is not that easy. It'll just say, hey, you damaged the ground. And that's kind of how you can know. Same goes with the engine condition. I'm just like, I don't know. I guess because I keep on overloading it. I don't I really don't know how it got so bad. Engine condition's red now. Oh, I'm smoking. Oh, no. Oh, I'm smoking. Um, I'm not asking, but, you know, Paul might die. Paul might blow up. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to Paul, but he will eat the grass. I promise. Paul will eat the grass. I just wonder if we're going to blow up by the end of this. Let's see how... Oh, I can't turn around. It's on its last legs. I wonder if I can damage it beyond repair. Maybe. Okay, here we go. We're going to damage it more. Oh, made it. Oh, I damaged the ground. There you go. So just the way I was going around that corner, you can kind of see where I damaged the ground, which that'll happen if you're taking a turn too fast. It could be through the blades damaging or the tires. I hope Paul survives this slow mowing experience. It'll be a shame if this engine blows up and kills him. Can I do, just do a backwards mow? Backwards man to backwards man. I can walk a bass fast. You can. I can walk. Whoa! You're fine. Oh! Paul died. Did the rapture happen? What happened? What's it gonna do? Yell at me? Cool. Uh, you should work on your mower, Paul. Yeah. Oh, only 75 pounds? That's fine. So fill all that. Um, yeah, I'll show some of this stuff. Let's see. Recharge that. Cool. Hard exchange. I don't understand. You can upgrade specific mowers, too. Yeah, attachments here. Shop. Mulch plate. I gotta get that for our thing. Uh, well, I'll show you my main. So this is Lawn Eaters Maximus. I got one employee. I can, uh, do any of these ads to get more employees. I have some applicants, though. Let's see what... James Roberts enjoys the sound of stepping on fresh snow, believes they were a gunslinger in a previous life, suffers from a crippling fear of toads, wants to live uh, in a city of the sea. Jesus, I've been lawn mowing so much I can't even read. Ha has a candlelit bath every Sunday, can't look up, has a fear of sword swallowing, stormed Area 51 before it was cool. So if I had an extra mower for this man, I would totally do it. I would totally do it. You know, he can't look up, poor guy. Poor guy. Uh, this is, yeah, this is my eco mower I got now. We'll show some of the, I was looking at some of these a minute ago. It's insane. Like, I'm like, oh, okay, that's a pretty cool mower. Oh, okay. This is the one I started off with that clicks stuff in the back. I'm like, oh, okay, that's just a different version of it, okay. Okay, these are, oh, that's cool. I like that. Then you get this, and you're like, whoa, this is just a Bugatti. Then you keep on going. You get the Batmobile. Like, I mean, this is a war machine. This is not a lawnmower. This is for sure a war machine. And then uh, you got the Groundsmaster 3300. Like, look at this thing. Jesus. I want that. I want that. I don't know how big the levels get. Uh... Campsite's the biggest one I've had, and those take maybe 40 minutes, so we'll see how big it is. But uh, this has been Lawn Mowing Simulator, as you can tell by this triumphant music. Uh, I'm having an alright time with it. I, there's definitely some stuff I wish were improved upon. Maybe in a sequel. I don't know. Maybe just DLC. Uh, DLC's not going to fix the problem, ultimately. But what's here is not bad. If the Lawn Mowing Simulator sounds interesting to you, I would recommend giving it a shot. Get through the tutorial. It is rough at first. Seems like it's a lot more complex than it actually is. Once you kind of get the hang of it past that tutorial, it's not that bad. So I would say, get past the tutorial. From that point on, you can kind of tell if it's your thing or not. It's not my favorite of these type of games, but it is, you know, it is giving me some dopamine, which, hey, that's all I can ask for. Um, yeah, this Thursday, look out for a Guilty Gear Strive video or just a video in general. 
hopefully I can get to play Guilty Gear Strive, or if not, you know, maybe Sons of the Forest, maybe something else. Uh, this weekend, make sure to follow me on Twitch before Friday. I will be uh, streaming Resident Evil 4 Remake at some point on Friday, and then I don't know about the rest of the weekend. We'll see. But at the very least, I'll have content on YouTube, probably Twitch, too. So, no, there's no harm in following both of those. Um, this has been Lawn Mowing Simulator. I want to thank you all for joining me. If you like this video, like and subscribe. I appreciate it a ton. Like and subscribe, shares, all of it. Y'all are great. All right, I gotta. I, Paul's gotta eat the grass. Paul's gotta eat the grass. I gotta let it, Paul eat the grass. Uh, I'll see y'all.